Simple little golf swing release drill you can do next time you're out practicing to see if it helps you get the feeling of the face releasing so you kind of get rid of those taily ones off to the right or slices with your big club. You can do this with a driver or an iron. I've just got an iron here. I'm going to take my setup ready to go and all I'm going to do is push the club head forward about a foot and a half of the ball and I'm going to get the face pointing off to the left here but I'm going to keep the handle opposite the inside of my lead leg. So in effect I've just released that club. I've just let it get ahead of me. Now it's above the ball, so you have to be careful that when you pull it back, you don't hit the ball. I'm just gonna pull the club back and keep this angle in there for a little bit longer as I normally would if I started from neutral. So, you know, this kind of action. And I'm just gonna hit a few shots. Trying to get back into that release pattern. So on the way down, trying to get back into that club just overtaking the handle. It's a great way to give the feeling of people presetting the angle they're trying to get back into. Great for getting that face to overtake the handle, which is good for getting the face to marry up often with a club path. It's a good way of warming up just to get the feeling of releasing that club. You might not hit great shots because you are hovering the club, but you'll be amazed how many people hit the ball quite decent doing it this way. But what it does do is get the feeling of that club releasing, letting go, overtaking at the bottom, which helps so many golfers with shapes of shots.